It's Friday and that means it's time for another weather rewind where we look back at some of this week's weather, but with a bit of a twist. This week, we don't have to look too far into the past with the winter storm that we're finishing up here in central Pennsylvania. So on that note, Let's rewind. Now this same system started out in the Rockies on Monday and the snow troubles among other troubles started there. These concerns expanded as the storm started to intensify Tuesday with blizzard warnings in the northern plains to tornado warnings in the southern plains. Severe weather continued along the Gulf states Wednesday and soaking rains in the Midwest eventually transitioned to an icy mix and snowier scene heading up towards the Great Lakes. And of course, the storm brought a wintry mix here in central Pennsylvania yesterday and through a good chunk of the night. But how do some systems bring all snow and others just a mix? Well, we're going to take a look at that now. Temperatures, they're the ones that are the key here. Not just down here at the ground, but also way up high into the atmosphere. Everything starts as all snow. Now, as it falls, you don't necessarily need temperatures to be at 32 degrees or higher down near the surface in order to get all snow, but it must be at least 32 or lower directly above and even higher up into the atmosphere to keep it that way. Now, if warmer air greater than 32 degrees, even if it's just a teeny bit above, not even a degree sometimes, if that slips in above the surface, then the snow that's falling melts and then precipitation type will change. If it's a thin sliver of warm air with a deep layer of cold air at the surface, the rain refreezes as sleep pellets. And if there's an even thicker wedge of warmer air immediately above the surface with temperatures at or even below freezing here at the surface, then of course that rain will freeze on contact and that creates that sheet of ice we know as freezing rain. Now, if there's a thick enough layer of warm air above 32 degrees from the surface and well up into the atmosphere, it all just melts, stays melted, and we just get that plain old rain. These are the many changes that we just saw across our area. And you can stay tuned every Friday for the whys behind the weather wonders that catch our eye each and every week.